Hi, today's video is about whether coconut oil is a health food or not. Those that tend to profit from coconut oil claim it has miraculous powers, curing everything from cancer to jock itch. If you do a Google search about coconut oil and the health benefits, you'll get a multitude of articles and claims. But what should we believe? I used to think that coconut oil was healthy, and the same with olive oil. In fact, my mom used to cook coconut rice and put coconut oil in the cooking water, and that would give it flavor. But that wasn't healthy to do. Um, we used to believe it at the time, and I used to actually take a tablespoon of coconut oil once a day because I thought there were nutrients in it that I wasn't getting in other foods. So it's kind of ridiculous when I think about it now, what I used to do. So the reason that I come to the conclusion that coconut oil is not a health food is through an article I read by Jeff Novick. He compares 100 calories of coconut oil to 100 calories of sugar. Both sugar and coconut oil have no protein in them. There is a little more calcium in sugar, 0.3 milligrams. There is a little bit more potassium as well, 0.5 milligrams. But the biggest difference between the coconut oil and the sugar in terms of their nutrient density is that there is 10 grams of saturated fat in 100 calories of coconut oil. Just 116 calories of coconut oil has enough saturated fat by itself to surpass the limit recommended by his guidelines and just 4 teaspoons, which is 155 calories of coconut oil, surpasses the limit recommended by the American Heart Association. So if coconut oil has no protein, no carbohydrates, no vitamins, no minerals, no essential fats, and no fiber, then what exactly makes it a health food? A study in 2001 compared death rates between Hong Kong and Singapore. The most pronounced finding was that Heart disease mortality in 1993 to 1995 was about three times higher in Singapore than in Hong Kong. And this is attributed to a higher consumption of coconut and palm oil containing saturated fat in Singapore. In addition, another recent study looked at the effects of just one high fat meal where the fat came from coconut oil. Subjects were fed a meal high in fat from coconut oil, and the effects were evaluated at 3 and 6 hours after the meal. The meal containing coconut oil impaired the anti-inflammatory action of HDL at both 3 and 6 hours. In addition, blood flow was significantly reduced 3 hours after the meal containing coconut oil, and remained slightly reduced at 6 hours. In addition, you may have read on the internet that the traditional Polynesian diet contained lots of coconut and they had low rates of disease. It's true that some of these studies on traditional Polynesian diets have found that they have relatively low rates of heart disease in spite of their high intake of coconut oil. But once again, this is only part of the picture, as there are many other aspects of the native Polynesian diet and lifestyle that are very healthy. The traditional Polynesian diet is very high in fiber from locally grown fresh fruits, veggies, and root vegetables, high in the protective plant sterols. They're also high in the protective omega-3 fats and very low in sodium. In addition, their main source of calories and fat was coconut. In spite of the coconut's high in saturated fat intake, they also had a very low intake of dietary cholesterol as coconuts are devoid of dietary cholesterol. They were also very physically active and tended not to smoke. So in the big picture, they only had the one risk factor, which was coconut oil, and that is probably why they didn't have much heart disease in their communities. Let's see what Dr. Michael Greger has to say about the subject of coconut oil. Perhaps the boldest claim may be as a potential cure for Alzheimer's based on a series of anecdotes in one study. Study of the ketogenic agent AC1202, the concentrated form of the medium chain fatty acids in coconut oil purported to be the active ingredient. At first, it looked like it was working, but by the end of the study, any effect it had had disappeared. Though there was one genetic subgroup where it appeared to be working better, but when that group was properly randomized, even that effect 
disappeared. So the only such study ever done on concentrated coconut oil components found little effect, and no studies have ever been done whatsoever on Alzheimer's and coconut oil itself. Unlike other natural remedies, like the spice saffron, which was able to beat out placebo and seemed to work as well as the leading drug without the side effects, coconut oil is one of the rare plant sources of saturated fat, normally only found in animals, which tends to increase LDL, or bad cholesterol, the number one risk factor for a number one killer, heart disease. So, hey, I mean, you want to try coconut oil on someone with Alzheimer's for a few days to see if it makes a difference? Uh, fine, God, I, I, I'd try almost anything. But if, as expected, you don't see any improvement, I'd be hesitant to keep anyone on it long term. Now, those selling coconut oil say one needn't worry, because coconut oil contains a saturated fat that doesn't raise cholesterol. You hear the same thing from the beef people. Stearic acid has been shown to have a neutral effect on blood cholesterol. That's true, and beef does contain stearic acid, but guess what? It has twice as much of the palmitic and myristic, which they just admit it does raise cholesterol. <laughs> it's like Coca-Cola saying they know for a fact that soda doesn't make you gain weight because Coke contains water, and water has a neutral effect on weight gain. Yeah, but that's not the only thing in it. And the same thing with beef, and the same thing with coconut oil. The most encouraging study was this one, an open-label, meaning not blinded, no control group pilot study, in which two tablespoons of coconut oil a day for a month added to their regular diet did not worsen their cholesterol, though when tested in a better-designed study, you know, a randomized crossover trial, coconut oil did significantly worsen bad cholesterol. Hence uh, Walt Willett's recommendation from Harvard, if you're going to use it, use it sparingly. So in conclusion, coconut oil is a refined food, high in calories but low in nutrients. If you do use coconut oil, use it sparingly. And in fact, you can use water or vegetable stock when cooking. You could even use coconut milk to add flavor to your meals instead of coconut oil. But definitely don't take spoonfuls of coconut oil thinking that it will benefit your health. <laughs>